Speak up, Mets fan. Today we bring you an important update on one of our biggest stars, Pete Alonso. After a scare in Wednesday's game against the Los Angeles Dodgers, when Alonso was hit in the right hand by a pitch from James Paxton, the test results brought relief to all of us. According to SNY's Andy Martino, the CT scan showed no fracture in our first baseman's hand. Alonso had to leave the game after the incident, being replaced by Brett Beatty at first base. The news that he avoided a serious injury is a huge relief for the team and all fans who are worried about the possibility of losing our slugger for an extended period. So, are you a true Mets fan? So subscribe to the channel right now so you don't miss any updates. Expectations for the Mets in 2024 were more modest compared to last season after the organization recalibrated its goals due to past failures. Still, a wild card spot seemed possible, and players didn't view this year as a rebuilding season. However, with a 22-33 record and sitting in fourth place in the National League East, we are 16 games behind the Philadelphia Phillies and six games out of the final wild card spot. Once again, it seems like everything that could go wrong with this franchise has already or likely will at some point. Alonso's injury came less than an hour after the team announced that closer Edwin Diaz was placed on the 15-day injured list due to an impact to his right shoulder. Still, Alonso has been a steady force at bat. In 54 games, he accumulated 12 home runs, 26 RBIs, with an OPS of .758 and an OPS plus of 122. Despite the difficulties, the Mets' resilience and the fans' passion never wane. We continue to believe in and support our team, hoping that better days are coming. Leave in the comments what you think of this news and what your expectations are for Pete Alonso's recovery and the Mets' season. We want to know your opinion.